And what has it got to do with you? Why are you so hard to find a man that you never met? Or did you? Did you meet him? Did you know my father? I don't know, Louise. I'm not sure if I met him or not. Vitals are full. All right, we'll take it from here. He's got a full trip, you hear me? Your friend will be taken. Look, he ain't my friend. He's just a... Look, just make sure he doesn't die, okay? I got some information that I really need to get out of. Where's the doctor? Uh, there she is. Wait, one for now, Simone. This made us hurt very badly, Dr. Russell. I know, the hit hit was called in. You gotta save him. Step back. Did you see the look on Mom's face when she saw us with Chad? Yeah, so? So? She doesn't want either of us hanging around him, Simone. And she told you specifically to stay away from him because he's a bad influence. And she's right. Chad needs me here, Whitney. And that is all I care about. If Mother doesn't like it, so what? Too bad. Chad does not need you, Simone. He does not need anyone. He's a 100% loner. You are so wrong, it's not even funny. Chad definitely needs someone. He just doesn't know it yet. And I'm gonna make sure that someone is me. Excuse me, we need some information on your friend. Look, I told you, he ain't my friend. I only just met the guy. Well, can you tell me his name, age, next of kin? I don't know any of that. All I know is his name is Orville. Orville, after so many years, you come back into my life. Well, I couldn't get Ethan on the phone. I'll try him again later. Well, I am all set to go, Mr. Crane. Is that the contract you'd like me to do? Yes, yeah, thank you. I still don't understand why he took off at the cabin so suddenly. My son isn't uh, really a spur-of-the-moment type, so something important must be going on. Well, maybe he just wanted to get away. He should have asked my permission first. Uh, by the way, Pilar, you have yourself a great girl here. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Crane. Uh, this should more than cover your train and cab fare, Teresa, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Crane. Uh, you should be up and back in a couple of hours. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Ethan's going to be in for a big surprise when you come knocking on the door. <laughs> yes, sir. He will be very surprised. <laughs> You're not sure if you ever met my father. That's right. Oh. It's impossible. You couldn't have. Why not? When you were a little girl, you lived in France. In fact, must have been right around the time that you went over there that he disappeared. You don't know that for sure. I mean, it's, it's possible I could have met him. I don't think so. He didn't visit the mansion. Never? I'd have heard if he did. And you're certain that he never visited my house? Okay, well, maybe he went there a couple times to pick up my mother, but I wouldn't call him visits. Well, still, I mean, it's, it's possible that I could have seen him. Anything's possible. Well, I guess I'll know for sure when I meet him. Look, I just told you that the odds are like a million to one that you never met Impossible. him. Impossible! That's what you said, and then you changed it. Still. Look, I'm going. It's just gonna be a waste of time. Well, then it's a waste of my time. I still don't get the, why this is so important to you. But, didn't I already explain this to you, Louise? Something about my mother? I love Pilar. I want to find out if her husband's alive. That doesn't add up either. Okay, end of discussion. Now get off my plane. Not till I get some answers. Well, if you're not gonna get off my plane, then I'm just gonna have you arrested. <laughs> you're gonna have me arrested? Hey, just because you're a On cop, what that's... charge? Trespassing. You know, you are on Crane property. Like, this is getting crazy. I'm going to count to five. One, two... Okay, okay. If you're going to go track him down, then I'm just going to be right behind you. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going with me. I'm going alone. I don't need you dogging on my heels. This is getting weird, Sheridan. Well, what's really going on here? 
What are you up to? You remember my dream, don't you? Yes. I was in the main house in the living room. There was a body under a sheet, and I was standing beside it with my hands covered in blood. That was only a dream, Sharon. What if it wasn't a dream? What if that body is Martin Fitzgerald? What? What if I killed Pilar's husband, Luis's father? This makes zero sense, Sharon. Well, it does to me. But you're telling me that you're going to New Mexico because you promised my mother? Uh-uh. Now, that doesn't wash. There's something else going on. And you've got your own reason for going there. What is it? Dr. Russell? Yes? Do you know this man? No, why do you ask? Just the way you looked at him. It was like you knew him. Well, I don't. I think I'd know if I'd seen him around town, and I haven't. He's going to pull through, isn't he? I don't have any way of knowing that now. I won't know much of anything until I run some tests and take some x-rays. Excuse me. H how serious is it, Mom? You can save him, right? What's the matter with you two? Okay, Mom, I can explain. I told you to stay away from Chad. It's not what you think, Mom. I'm very disappointed in you, Whitney. I'm sorry. Well, that's not good enough. We were just trying to help Chad. Helping him? He's trying to find out about his family, his past. He thinks Orville knows about it. There's some sort of secret. Well, I don't care. I've already told you that Chad is nothing but bad news. I think so, too, Mom. I just thought that the quicker he knew exactly who he was, the quicker he'd leave town. The patient is stabilized, Doctor. He's starting to come, too. I want to talk to him. No, everybody just stayed back. You. What have you been telling those kids, Orla? Oh, I... I... I I'm... What is it? What do you want to tell me? You really are afraid of me, aren't you, Eve? Are we going to have enough food, Ethan? I mean, if we're going to be snowed in... Uh, not if. Well, the snow's really starting to come down now. Yeah, better load up another hamper. Looks like a major storm. A major storm sounds just great to me. As long as I can spend it with you. We're gonna have an incredible time, Gwen. It's a beautiful setting. Two of us alone. Couldn't ask for anything better. It'd be perfect. Mmm, perfect. Well, the cabin's just around the bend. I'm gonna hang up. I've got a lot to do. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, Ethan, I love you so much. All I want to do is be with you. Oh, and if you're going to propose tonight, that's just the icing on the cake. You haven't seen my reading glasses, have you, Pilar? Oh, they're in your pocket, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. So they are. I don't know what I'd do without you. You would do just fine, Mr. Crane. No, you're indispensable, as is your daughter. This is a very hard worker, not to mention friendly, which I regret to say is not true of all the Lopez Fitzgeralds. If you mean Luis... Yes, your son has very little regard for us. He sees us as the enemy. He's a good son. And very devoted to you, I know. Yes. I can't tell you how badly I felt having to reveal to him that his father was a thief. He took it very hard. What else could I do but tell him? He was pressing me, giving me the third degree on why Martin disappeared the way he did. I had to tell him, Pilar. Martin's disappearance has weighed very heavily on Luis since he was a boy. My whole family has suffered. The truth can hurt. But when the whole story, the truth of why Martin disappeared comes out, and it will, Mr. Crane. I wonder who will be hurt more, your family or mine. So I'm starting to think that you're going to New Mexico to cover something up. Maybe warn my father that I'm coming after him. <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Well, I haven't figured that out yet. And you won't, because it's crazy. Is it? 
I'm not so sure. See, off the top of my head, I can make a case for you doing this as an order from Julian. Doing what? Sweeping some crime, some crane deal under the rug. <laughs> I know you hate my family, Luis, but this is really reaching. I, mean, I would never do anything to help Julian.